Hi, it's me again, but this time just for a quick chat about general things, really. Um, bit of magic mention, I suppose. It's uh, very early in January. I have no idea what date it is, because boy, oh boy, have I had a crazy Christmas. I hope you had a really good one. But in my case, um, Christmas Eve, my mum fell over. My mum's 96 now, um, and has been an incredibly good nick considering you know 96 wow uh so she um she would be born when 1916 <laughs> think about it the first world war hadn't even started but she broke her arm her wrist or whatever in a couple of places and it has not been the easiest of christmas i think i spent christmas eve all night in the uh in the hospital with her and there was uh, <laughs> no sign of santa claus in there in fact we delayed christmas i think till about february in our family now it's uh it's been a bit of a mess and uh the waters came up around the house i put some pictures on uh twitter about that but it's um but it, it, it does that and the garden loves it so please don't worry about us being flooded the house is fine um and every year I do a little bit more and waterproof it a little bit more and so on. And so that's all good. What else has been going on? Uh, Debbie um, has been absolutely fabulous. That's my wife for the strangers amongst you. And she, uh, she's she been great. She's been really good. But we were supposed to go to Barbados on holiday. Last year we were supposed to go and I put my hand to a table saw and we missed it so this year i insisted look you go i'll sort mum out and you have a great time that of course led to an interesting f conversation my manager got a phone call from the daily mirror who said um they had a journalist in barbados who had seen debbie mcgee in barbados and uh, she and paul, it was reported uh, she and paul had had a quarrel and they uh, they split up, and she's gone to Barbados, uh, which was the biggest load of rubbish ever. And I don't think the Mirror uh, published anything after after uh, we'd had the conversation. But Leveson, come on, it had no guts in it whatsoever, and it should have stopped all that rubbish that's been published. So that was that. I did put on Twitter, however, what do you want me to talk about? Somebody asked about the magic kettle. The magic kettle, uh, the idea of the magic kettle is you pour any drink out that's called for from the audience. And I did it. Um, David Devant did a magic kettle, which I owned for a while. And it, uh, it was very interesting, very difficult to do. He must have spent hours in rehearsal for that one. And I guess so did I in a way, but I had uh, a magic kettle made by a specialist and we, um, I performed it. And while I was watching it on TV, I went, oh, duh, you know, moment of inspiration too late. So I waited a year or two and it's one of the few tricks that I did again. And the second time I did it, uh, one of the magic magazines published that I'd used Stooges. Hey. I hate stooges. pre stooging is just not my scene. And um, the producer threatened them with court action, so that to retract it. But in truth, it got as close as you could get to Think a Drink, which was the original name, Think a Drink Hoffman, I think it was. And it was, um, and what happens is, we got four people out of the audience, we sat them on stools, they decided who went first, and I said, now you're thinking of a drink, you've got a drink, everybody's been shouting drinks out here, you've got a drink, you haven't told anybody, no, right. Think of a drink, walk over to the table, pick the kettle up, pick any glass up and pour the drink out, but don't drink it. And then you pick another person and the four people all thought, thought of their drinks. And when they tasted them, that's what they got. A really good brainwave, well done Daniels. The original trick was, um, I think it was developed because somebody was doing the inexhaustible bottle whereby you poured a drink out and then the person who wanted the drink named a colour and you pulled that colour ribbon out of the bottle dry. And you did that on and on and on. And it was really interesting uh, when I was in France Jean Regil, Regil, Jean, I, I should have asked your second name, Jean. Uh, 
he had performed the same trick, the inexhaustible bottle, and we were swapping methods and all that. It's great when magicians get together and do that. So that's about it. You're up to date now. Thank you for all your cards. Thank you for all your good wishes and all that. And please, let's hope 2013 is just absolutely great for all of us. Happy New Year.